A lot of people are threatened by globalization. I think globalization is an opportunity. If you're not looking for the next best thing outside your home country, you're going to be missing something and someone else will pick it up. I'm Blythe McGarvey. I serve on corporate boards as well as run a consortium of senior executives where we help other companies be more profitable. A lot of companies want to get into emerging markets now and the only way to do it successfully is to find someone who understands the culture of that emerging market. We often talk about Brazil, Russia, India, China. My first exposure in China was in 1992. And what made it a success was that we asked a lot of questions, we were deferential, and I think importantly, we were curious. I call on people to be global citizens because it is what you need to do to be competitive today. To be a global citizen, it takes a desire to really understand another person's motivation. So first, a global citizen must literally think differently, figuratively walk in another person's shoes. It sounds easy to do, but it's not. You sometimes have to listen to people from elsewhere. You need a little cultural fluency. In other words, just because someone sounds different, looks different, maybe even acts different, doesn't mean that person is wrong. Today, to make the bright decisions, the smart decisions, the quick decisions, you have to crowdsource. And by crowdsource, I mean ask a lot of people. It's so easy to do with LinkedIn, within your own intranet, within your own company, outside your own company. I encourage companies to get information outside and bring it in. To be a leader, you need followership. And how do you get followership? You allow people to follow their dreams in an organized fashion to the objective of the company. That's why you have to listen to your people. There are three other components that a leader needs. First of all, you have to be competent. You know, we kind of forget that and we're sending out people sometimes who aren't competent in their fields. Secondly, have the curiosity to keep on asking. Thirdly, care. Do you know how much a difference we can make when we really care about another individual. Sometimes you go into a country and the cultural norms are very different. It takes courage to break through a wall. It takes courage to figure out, maybe I don't have to break through a wall. Maybe I can walk around it. Or even smarter, it takes courage if you figure out a way to build a door in the wall. Then you can walk through the door. When I say the globe is shaking, I mean two things. Forces are coming at us from all over now. And when something happens in one part of the world, it's going to happen in another part of the world. And so it's become a lot more volatile. So you have to be more reactive, more reflection, and more flexible in what you do because it's so interconnected. Secondly, what I mean by shaking the globe is you have to shake the globe. Be a force in the world. Be a positive force in the world. 